Hi there, I'm author Attica Locke. Um, my latest novel is Heaven My Home, right here. It's the second in a series of books uh, set in rural East Texas, part of my Highway 59 series, which follows a black Texas Ranger by the name of Darren Matthews as he moves through towns up and down Highway 59 in rural East Texas solving crimes. Um, this book in particular takes place way east, almost at the Louisiana border. And it takes place around a really kind of gothic looking lake called Caddo Lake and a young boy goes missing. And then Darren gets involved because he's told that the father of this young boy is actually a captain in the Aryan Brotherhood. And so somehow finding this kid gets wrapped up into a larger case about how to take down the Aryan Brotherhood of Texas. Uh, I'm super proud of the book. I'm super proud of the ways it um, really gives you a sense of place that it digs deeper into the character of Darren and, and all the things that he's wrestling with. In this book in particular, he's wrestling a lot with um, issues of forgiveness. Um, and I just, you know, am, am proud of having put that together. Um, and along the way, the ways that I was able even to write this book are the things that, that deeply kind of influenced me. Um, well, first I have to start with what I consider to be my novel writing Bible. It is 13 Ways of Looking at the Novel by Jane Smiley. Um, you can see all of my post-its and all of this because I read this book and reread it every time I start a new book. That I uh, started with my first novel, Blackwater Rising, and this came out the same year I was writing it. And this book is part memoir, part how-to, part love letter to the novel. And it really, for me, made the idea of writing a book feel possible. And I return to it because that kind of language of saying things like the only way you'll fail at a first draft is if you don't finish it is stuff I still need to hear at book five. So I just love reading this and thinking about what I want my story to be based on Jane Smiley's exhaustive research and look at what makes uh, novels tick uh, and, and, and what novels ask of us as both readers and writers other thing that I could not have written this book if I hadn't read this book is Ghetto Side by Joe Leovi. Ghetto Side is a book that um, predates language like Black Lives Matter, but it is about um, crime in America. It is about positing that as much as we spend time talking about the over-policing of Black life in America, the country was actually founded on the under-policing of crimes against black life, of not necessarily prosecuting those crimes to the greatest degree possible, that that goes all the way back to slavery. And it was such an interesting look at how the law for black folks is um, a double-edged sword. And like it, it both is the thing that we fear, but also it could be a tool to save our lives. And in this book, there is a black, um, there's a black cop in South LA who lives where he polices. And like I said, this predates language like Black Lives Matter, but essentially that's what this cop was saying. This cop was saying that I live where I police and I do that in order that when things happen against people in my community of color, I'm there to make sure somebody pays for it, somebody gets arrested for it, and that person gets prosecuted. And I, as somebody who had said before that I would never write about a cop, I just didn't understand that kind of establishment point of view. I could not have written Darren Matthews, this black Texas Ranger, if I had not read this black cop in this book. That's what helped me see a different point of view about policing and, and being a police officer of color. The other book that has influenced me for so much of my life is uh, Faye by Larry Brown. Um, and for me, this book, which takes place around Mississippi, it's 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 a uh, place. It is using language to create such an astonishingly beautiful sense of place. Um, that's what I love about this book. It is so incredibly rich, and it's a deep dive into a character's soul. And even though my character is um, got plenty of stuff to do, he's got crimes to solve. He's got a drinking problem. He's got a wife who's mad at him. He's got all this going on. It, it is a psychological study of this man's head and this man's heart. Uh, and a book like Faye uh, by Larry Brown helped me to do that, to create this novel. So I hope you guys like having my home. I hope during this extraordinarily difficult time, everyone is staying safe. I hope your loved ones are well. Um, and I wish you the best and I wish you happy, happy reading.